Okay, hi everybody and welcome. This is just a quick tutorial to help navigate you through the inventory management tracker in Google Sheets. This is perfect for anyone who owns a small business. If you have a shop on Etsy or even tanning salons, beauty salons, um, car mechanics, it, it's perfect for, for, for those that do not need to spend a whole lot of money on a software system for, for tracking their inventory or if you prefer not to write it out. Um, this is nice because you can just go into Google Sheets and, and update it as you go. So pretty self-explanatory, very easy to use. Um, as you can see, we have the status here. So you have four options, whether something is stocked, out of stock, in transit, or overstocked. Um, if you would like to change the color of this or if you would like to add a status that's not currently in here, um, I, would, I wanted to show you that if you're not familiar with Google Sheets and how to do that. So basically what you would be doing is you need to highlight every cell. So I have, I have it going down to 55 just in case, I don't, I, who knows how much, you, how much you'd have in inventory, but I kind of wanted to make sure it was covered. So we have that highlighted. You're going to right click, and then you are going to click on this data validation. And here you can see that the, the stocked, out of stock, and transit overstocked is here. So if you wanted to add another, another option, um, let's just say mm, ordered, or no, uh, let's say um, back ordered. You want to make sure you have a comma in between each. Hit save, and then there it is. Okay. So to go even further, if you want to make this maybe yellow because it's on order, once again you are going to want to highlight every cell so it will do every every cell here. Then go ahead and right click. This time you're going to go to conditional formatting. Click that and then here you can see we already have this set up with the colors. So you're going to want to hit add another rule. And then on format cells if text is exactly and then you're going to type in back order exactly how it says says on the status that we typed in. And then here you will choose what color you would like it to be. Done. And there you have it. So um, if we do that, it will reflect that. Um, so everything's self-explanatory. You type in your supplies and materials here. I did a, a brief uh, pretending to be um, selling selling uh, tumblers, glitter tumblers. So um, here's a spot, uh, this column's for your website. So if you're ordering from Amazon, it makes it easy for you to click on it and then just put in your order and then you can update it, um, update it here. Now in stock, so this is set that it's going to turn red when the in stock level goes down to five. If you if you type in five, um, and however much you play around with this, I don't I don't know how much you would update it, but you can change this again with how we did the status. So if if five is too low for let's say the tumbler thirty ounce skinny option, and let's say you know that's a popular item, and we want to know when it is down to twenty, you're just going to go ahead and and click that cell right click it, go back to conditional formatting, and then this is, this is what uh, the, the, the format rule is currently. And I have it set to less than or equal to five. So if we, we don't want that, we want to make it um, 20, hit done, and then it has updated that. So let's say it was 20, it'll turn red for you. Now that is you manually entering um, that in. 
So if you have any questions with that or need any assistance, just let me know and I, I'd be more than happy to, to walk you through it. Um, and then this is just a, a little visual to, to let you know. It, this is set at 75, I think. Yeah, 75. So um, if it goes all the way to the end, then that means you have 75 or more. And then obviously you type in your cost, your storage location, so you can keep it organized and know where everything is. And then your inventory value over here is automatically calculated with how much you have in stock and the cost of it. So that way over here you can see exactly how much you have in value in your current stocked inventory. Um, so that is pretty much it in a nutshell with uh, the inventory management tracker. If you have any questions at all, please again, feel free to, to shoot me a message on Etsy and I'll, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thank you so much.